Hi, this is Greg Koopman. Today I'm going to show you how to create, populate, and edit manual tables in Power BI. Okay, I'm in my BI desktop designer here, and I want to do a little test, and uh, I want to create my own table. And creating just a regular manual table where I want to enter in my own information uh, right inside the BI desktop, so let's get right into it. Let's create our, our table. So I look at my main screen here and I say, okay, where can I create a table? So here's my enter data, which looks like the right way to go. So I click on that and here we go. We got a table. So good. We can go ahead and create a table right here. So let's create my table. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a couple things. So let's see. Okay, so here's my table. All right, I can come up here also and just change. Uh, actually, you can't change the column name here, so we're going to, have to go with that. So let's go ahead and load it. I'm going to change the name of the table. I'm just going to call it Tennis Champions. Okay, and I'm going to load it. So if I want to do additional edits on this table, well, I can do some simple edits like uh, I could rename the um, rename the columns. So I'll rename those. All right, so I can do that. Now, can I go ahead here and delete a row? No, don't see that. Can I go and try to change a number in here? Nope, can't do that. Okay, hmm. So what do I do to edit this table? Because I still I made a couple mistakes. So a go, let's try edit queries. So if I go to edit queries, edit queries, aha, the Power Query editor appears. And this is where all the creation and uh inserting that I did to, with this table so far has been recorded over on this side in each of these steps okay here you see the source this is when I created the table this is probably when I put data in and here's the rename columns okay so actually the source is when I put the data in I think so this is up here as you hit each one of these steps this is your M code but this isn't it. I'm not going to tell you much about M code except for that when you do go here, you can come here and you can go into advanced editor and you can see all your M code of how the data got put in. Okay. Okay. So, but what we're here for is something that is difficult. I found difficult to figure out. So basically, I made a couple mistakes. Okay. Obviously, we can see that there's a couple mistakes in here, right? So, how do I delete a row? Well, we go over to the source. You can look through all the top buttons here. Forget it. You can't. You can do some keep rows, remove rows, but even those, it isn't like you can point and click and delete it. You got to like delete, remove the blank rows, remove the top three rows, or the bottom one row. Eh, that that got to work too well, right? So what we need to do, and there's so there's really no delete row and point and shoot. Also, what you don't have is let's say I want to change some data in here. Can't change it. And there's no edit here either. I look over here, there is no edit here. Alright? So what do I do? I make mistakes sometimes, right? So what do I do? So what you do is this. You go you, you, you one thing I tried doing was saying, oh, let's see go back to the edit enter data thing. All right, so I'm on the tennis champions, which is the name of the table. I enter the data. Okay, well, this is going to let me create another table. I don't want to create another table. I need to edit this table. <coughs> so what I did, what you do is this. You come over to source. You click on that little gear. 
and ah, here's my create table right there. Okay, and you know what you can do here? You can come in here and you can um, come right in there and say it wasn't Federer, it was Nadal. And you can edit right in place there. What else can you do? Let's get rid of some of these errors. Let's get rid of Federer here. Delete. Because we know Koopman is definitely right. And let's add another row here. You're able to just go down with your arrows and add rows. So here, this is what I want. I need to be able to insert. I need to be able to edit. And I need to be able to delete. So this is where you go to do all those things. Not intuitive. That's why I'm making the video on it. And I hope it helps you. Thank you.